Welcome to the Straight Out of Home Video Podcast, part of the Geeky Waffle Network. This week's episode is Hercules Zero to Hero. I'm Candace, and with me is Brie. Hello. Vanessa. Hey. And Alice. Hi. Okay. Were you all fans of this TV show as a kid? I never saw it. Brie, what have you seen? <laughs> Apparently not a lot, which I thought I had seen a lot, but now going on this journey, um, not a lot. I, I had not I had not seen it either, but I did know of it, its existence. Okay. Alice? Please. I was a big fan. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh man. Because- yeah, this is a, the period of time where all I watched was one Saturday morning. Um, like, oh, yeah, I love that. And and I was at Disney Channel exclusively um, until actually until 1998 when my little brother was born, when we started watching Nickelodeon. For some reason, oh. my mom thought Nickelodeon was for boys and Disney was for girls. Don't don't <laughs> try to don't try to unravel that. <laughs> I was trying to in my head and I can't. Nope. Don't you can't unravel it. It's impossible. I feel like we need to have your mom on the show. <laughs> she she would love that. She got some opinions about this stuff. So this is another movie. I'm, I'm using air quotes. Nobody can see it because this is a podcast. <laughs> but I heard it. Thank Definitely. you. I appreciate it. We all know. that. Yeah. That they, again, put like four episodes together and we're like, voila, voila, or whatever. Vo- what is I, it? Voila. I, will, voila. I, will say, voila. I will say that was very confusing, too, because when I was looking for the specific episodes, I'm like, wait, it's not linear. Like, when no, they actually okay. released it as a show. <laughs> so the way we watched this was, it's only on VHS, so we went to Disney+, Plus, Almighty Disney+, Plus, which has a series, and we watched the four episodes, well, some of us did, <laughs> the four episodes <laughs> that takes place in this movie. The first is Hercules in the Yearbook, and the whole thing is, Brie, can you tell us about the sequel portion? Oh, yeah, okay, so... It was confusing. I think I had to ask Candace two times for the order of, <laughs> of of this. So it kind of starts off where like Megara is like, "Oh, I want to know like more about you or whatever." And I'm this is going to be a really awful like summary. Uh, so she's like, "Oh, I want to know more about you." And he's like, "Oh, I don't know." Da 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 da. How- and then, like, I don't know, she's, like, looking through this basket of a thing and then, like, really digging deep. And she pulls out the largest scroll in there. And she's like, oh, finally found it. I'm like, it was the first one in there. Like, what? <laughs> I noticed that, too. Right? Thank you. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, oh, I got to look for this. Oh, here. All right. <laughs> and it is his yearbook, yeah. which is a scroll. And and then basically the whole thing is going back in time to when he was in high school because during his lessons with Phil Zeus is like you need to go to school <laughs> or something i don't know it's weird For whatever and, reason yeah and uh, so he gets sent to this school and Prometheus he, Academy. And let me just add so some of the dialogue between Hercules and Meg are altered for the movie to fit to put the episodes in. In the original Hercules in the yearbook, it's just like it's a montage, it's a clip show of the series. So they like have different dialogue to put these three episodes in. And the episode that Bree is talking about now is Hercules in the first day of school. Yes. And the mu- muses do like a little music number about how Which Hercules fun. can't be a delightful. Yeah, they, he can't be a fool. He got to go to school. <laughs> yeah, you know, keeping those kids in school somehow, right? Okay, um, so this is what bothered me as a child. It's supposed to be a prequel to Hercules, except there's some big plot hole, or <laughs> it changes the movie. Yeah. Hercules battles Hades a lot. I know. And in the Hercules movie, I'm going to be very specific, because Hercules was my favorite. <laughs> Hades doesn't know that Hercules... Is, is alive. alive. Yeah. Yeah. That's like no, the it's, whole point. Yeah. It's it's really the whole point. Like it, 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 I, like, it took me back. I was like, what is going on? I was like, am I in a fever dream? <laughs> because it felt like it. Um, Bray, you were in a 90s fever dream. This is so 90s, even it though really it takes is. place in Greek. mythical Greece. <laughs> Well, it is uh, well. I do like that they put like an Icarus, you know, that little reference played, played by French Stewart, who French was Stewart. his French Stewiest. 
what a get. in this role. What a get. He, he yeah. constantly says baby. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> yeah, baby. It's all over, baby. It, it's and, so 90s. It hurts. And also, his other best friend is Cassandra the Seer. Yes. Which is, again, it's fun. It's mythology. Oh, I love it. And then, you know, it's like, it's all Greek to me. You know, Zeus <laughs> says this at one point. It's great. Um, but yeah, the whole the whole thing with Hades, though, that really brought me out of it. I was like, I was having fun until you made me have to watch this part. Hey, 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 Okay. Well, no, it's so, fine. It just, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't no, make sense it, it doesn't make sense. Movie. And I get why they did it because they wanted Hades in there and James Woods actually wanted to do this, even though James Woods is apparently a terrible person. We find out not later. A, not apparently. It's Well, maybe that's, well, yeah, okay, maybe that's so, why yeah, he did uh, it. I'm trying not to slander work. us or <laughs> slander true. him. Sorry. <laughs> so... But he really loved this role, and he is, like, the first one of the cast to sign up. Another interesting thing is this is young Hercules before he gets all beefed up, right? Mm -hmm. So he's still played by – but he's played by the older Hercules, Tate Donovan, not the younger Hercules. In the movie, did they have another voice for young Hercules? I thought it was Tate Donovan all the way through. No, yeah, no, there's, there's, a, whole a, there's a young Hercules. Oh, whack. <laughs> I missed that. Yeah. I was excited but, to see him back. Yeah, so that's a whole other thing, too. Um, the only people who don't come back are Danny DeVito, who plays Phil, and Rip Torn as Zeus. Well, but, I, which is unfortunate about Phil, because right when Phil spoke, I was like, mm, that's not Danny DeVito. Ac- no, actually, I thought he did a great job. Honestly, like, I mean, I knew it wasn't Danny DeVito just because I figured he wasn't doing the show. But <laughs> but I also but I also just thought that he that he actually did a really good voice. It's a pretty good Danny DeVito impression for sure. It's yeah. better than the one of Mulan, too. Yeah. Murphy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. So, okay, so some of the other characters. So Hercules has two best friends, Icarus and Cassandra. Yes. And Icarus is in love with Cassandra. But it's, and like, it, to the point of, like, creepiness. Like, yeah, it's that 90s trope where it's like, oh, they're playing it for laughs, but really that's stalkerish behavior. Oh, it's extremely stalkerish. I was like, he should be burned by the sun. Go back. Okay, she it, tells it, it him is, a but stalker. Same, it is, but at the same time, like, I, I feel like she plays it off so well that it doesn't really matter because she just she just doesn't take any of his of his crap. I will say Cassandra was so close to Meg's personality, though. She was more, like, gloomy, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, she's like, she's she's like the emo. Well, yeah, I mean, I, which is great. Or I mean, like, I, no, not, she was my emo, favorite. Even more like Beatnik. A Beatnik, you said, Vanessa? Yeah. Yeah, maybe something more like that along those oh, lines. Oh, you mean kind of like in an extremely goofy movie? The girl in Exactly, the because, you know, that we're still in that kind of time frame where that's kind of like the <laughs> cool vibe that you have. Yeah, <laughs> the coffee shop girl. Exactly. So, yeah, yeah she doesn't have a name, Vanessa and I found out, when we covered that movie. Yeah. Yeah, I know, it's unfortunate. Oh, okay, so Alice admitted she did not finish all these episodes. It's true. But guess who watched about 40 of these episodes? Um, me. Let me take a guess. <laughs> oh, my God. Candace. <laughs> I love this show so much, and I think it kind of holds up the animation. No. <laughs> but it's still so cute. And you guys don't understand the amount of guest stars. Name someone in the 90s, oh my and God. they were in this. So, oh, my gosh. So, I so noticed crazy. Kathy Griffin was in it, like, right away. What? Yeah, and she has a song in one of the episodes. Delightful. And then of course, Which episode and then of course, is this one? Yeah, and then, of course, Brad Garrett shows up, as he does in every single thing. Yes. <laughs> um, Dan Castanello, who plays Homer Simpson, plays Homer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> um, did- Eric Idle plays the professor. Yes. For the did anyone, did um, anyone look up who plays Theseus? Oh, yes. Eric Stoltz. It's Eric Stoltz. Eric Stoltz, who plays Cepheus, <laughs> a.k.a. the Grim Avenger, a.k.a. the almost Marty McFly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, looking at the voice so, talents all over the show, I mean, our our good old friend Keith David uh, plays yep, Apollo. He plays Apollo. Uh, and every, I mean, everybody's in it. Eric Idle's in it. Wayne Knight. Lisa Kudrow. I mean. Oh, yeah. Right. Lisa Kudrow. Oh, um, David Hyde Pierce. Yes. Oh. Yeah. He plays Icarus' father. Jason Alexander plays Poseidon. Jane Levy's, a.k.a. Daphne from Frasier, plays Athena. And then Harry Gilbin, so who plays Ross, is, plays Hecate. 
It's like 90s sitcom. If you were on one, you were in this. <laughs> Jennifer Aniston has a, is in one episode. She was dating, I think, Tate Donovan at the time, and he was on wow. Friends. That's charming. So charming. I love. I, know. I love it. It's like the 90s just just decided that this show was where they would like like meet up and hang out yeah. and it was so delightful. I loved the show when it was on like you. It was one of my favorite movies yeah. at the time. Um and and it it's just it's charming. It's fun. It's upbeat. It's cute. High school clichés everywhere, even the bad ones. Um and yeah. it's just um I don't know. It's goofy. I really yeah. liked too that because we were able to we were watching the four episodes that made up the movie, it got to start and end with a with a song. We got the muses and we got Susan Egan um oh, singing. Yes. And she's incredible. Um it was like a it, it was like a, a sweet, strangely animated uh follow up to one of my favorite movies that I, I was I, I was bummed out that I didn't get a chance to finish watching them all. But I probably will go back and watch the whole thing. Hey, another pa- podcast, Hercules Waffles. We'll just watch them all. <laughs> we'll just yeah, watch all true. of it. Yeah, I, I mean, it was I- fun. It's just, I liked when uh, Hercules, of course, went to go, like, battle. Like, go find trouble. <laughs> Gotta oh, show Vanessa, off. what were you saying? No, I was just saying. I was just saying. Yeah, of all of the of all of the ones that at least I have watched that that we have done, um, this one is definitely my favorite. I think that it because I think it, this is actually something that I would that I would watch. Like after you know after we do this, I will watch the rest of the series because it it actually does hold up. It is very cute. It is it, it's very intriguing. It's not um, overly um, la- well, I don't want to say lame, but you know what I mean? Like it's just Yeah, no, it's charming. It's yeah, charming, it has right? it, like it has, it has actually points. like pretty good humor as far as it's it's just cute. It's light. It's it's um but it it has it has, you know, a bit of adventure as well. Um there there obviously are the the little weird things like one like you were about to say Bree he's like yeah I gotta go and find a monster and then he just goes into the realm of monsters and you're like okay one you're doing this to show that you're like big and tough and yeah. who's gonna believe you <laughs> okay but and- <laughs> it's part of him learning right yes he's- but oh two- no but I think that's so funny and also I I think my favorite one is the whole um the Batman episode <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So one of them is the Grim Avengers with Eric Stoltz. Like Vanessa was so kind to remind us. Yes. <laughs> Poor Eric Stoltz. He did great. He did great in this. Yes. It was kind of like a Batman. Oh, type. no. It's like definitely in <laughs> reference to Batman. Yeah, it's definitely. Like, it's not, not even <laughs> like subtle. It's like it's on the nose Batman. <laughs> he's like, yeah, he's like monologuing. Oh, he wears a cape. He's like, that's my cape. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it, it like it was fun I think that one I was like all right this is my favorite episode by far just because it's like a mock on the times you know yeah and mm. it was I mean but it was it was still great the only thing that that bothered me about that episode was and this could be a potentially like ridiculous thing but they kept calling Minotaur Minot- Minotaur the Minotaur and I'm like what the what are you saying? I mean, that, I, that might even be a way to pronounce it, but every single time that I've heard this, it's always been Minotaur. I've heard both. <laughs> okay, maybe I was potato, just getting potato? angry. For- yeah, it's it's one of those things. I think it's just I don't know which one is the proper pronunciation anymore. Okay. Uh, did you guys notice you played the PE teacher? No, I did not look at that one. It was Richard Simmons. Oh, oh that's delightful. hilarious and very fitting. <laughs> yes, He's it's so, so nice. 90s and it makes sense. It does. And the other episode is Hercules and the visit from Zeus. So Hercules is like, oh, you don't know what it's like to be a teenager. You know, the, <laughs> like you said, it's a cliche. Yeah. And then Zeus is like, oh, really now? Oh, but OK. Hades is involved in that one. That's the one yes. where Hades yes. gets involved. And like yeah. somehow Zeus becomes a teenager again. Well, he made and himself he gives a up teenager. his godhood. His yeah. Own- yeah, that's he right. He has the power. Yeah. 
So and Zeus then, gets to pop back and forth between being mortal and immortal, but you can't do that for your own son in the movie Hercules. Okay, yeah, I Zeus. Know, that's what I was thinking. I was like, uh, <laughs> I feel like Zeus could have like helped a little bit more. But then again, knowing like the actual mythology, Zeus, he is a shit yeah, person this- anyway. It's true. Well, yeah, and that's, right. what, that's oh, what I, I know. Say, After... is like Zeus, Zeus, like Zeus in actual mythology is so much worse. So I'm, oh, I'm fairly mean, happy with this misogynist, with this racist. <laughs> oh, the well, worst. Not just that. Like Hera's not his mother. Hercules' mother. Hera actually curses them, and you know, mm-hmm. he, he curses him to kill his children and Meg Megara, his wife. Well, which and, which oh, is well. another thing that comes up because he says, "My mortal mother." in in this series and i'm like well that's not what you what you're showing in the movie <laughs> it it they, they took liberties and well, like the, the mortal no they he has mortal, mortal parents, parents that movie. raised him they're the ones that find him at the base of olympus and raise him no, yeah. and then he finds out that he does oh, have godmother so and talking father. about that i'm sorry i was thinking about like actual mythology and i was like oh so they decided <laughs> just say just that throw this in yeah his mother no he's a, a um. Yeah, his dad's name is like he's got a, like a, one of those really fun long Greek names, and the, the they both start with A. Our Petreon or something, and yeah. it's very fun. And yeah, they raise him, and they're the ones that you know when they bring him on with the donkey into town, and when Hercules Petunia. wrecks <laughs> Petunia, I remember and he Petunia. wrecks the the market and everything right at the beginning, right before Hercules finds out that he's a god. No, that's very true. I'm sorry. I was I was thinking the complete like just you know sure. mythology. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. As, like, as yeah. cool as and it is that they bring in like references to actual mythology and like lots of references to actual yeah, mythology. Yeah. I love the inclusion of of all these the characters like Adonis and and Aphrodite and ever you know everybody comes oh. in. It's very very can fun. We, can we talk about Adonis? He's played by Diedrich Bader, who was in our Buzz Lightyear episode. Free and probably will be in a bunch more. Most likely. Yes. Uh, okay, let's just say you're in school, and yes, you're a prince. <laughs> if the son of Zeus, the son of a god you know exists, is in your school, are you going to bully that guy? Hey, here's the thing. <laughs> they never really explained this. Did did they know he was the son of Zeus? I don't I, feel like I don't feel like they know he's the son of Zeus. Like, that's, yeah, that was that's what I got. Yeah. Well, as someone who watched the series. <laughs> okay, well, in the four episodes that were of the movie, he doesn't bring it up on, like, on his first day of school, which he should. He should be like, hi, everyone, sorry, I'm new and awkward, but guess what? Zeus is my daddy. Yeah, they never brought that up, so... <laughs> like, he could use super strength and just completely floor Adonis, like, immediately, so that's that's another thing. Like, And not even, like, a fight, but, like, you know, like, for example, the dodgeball thing. I'm like, what do you mean you're going to lose to Adonis? You could, like, pummel him. Well, I know. I mean, <laughs> if, if we look back into the original movie, he was a klutz. He destroyed basically his entire small town. He destroys his school a few times in the series. Like, straight up, it's gone. Yeah, I know. I They, they rebuild real fast, those Greeks. Yeah, yeah they do. Rome was built. No, no. <laughs> this is Rome. This is Greek. There is a definite joke there. If Rome I'm wasn't built in out. a Rome wasn't built in a day. Oh, there, no, there's a joke there. Athens was built in a day, not Rome. There yeah, we go. Yeah. There, there, there you go, kid. Here's the thing. She she'll keep in everything dumb I say. <laughs> oh, I gotta cut that out for me. <laughs> Leave it in. Hey, hey, you wanna you wanna cut out your stupid stuff? You spend hours <laughs> editing stuff, okay? I so do say a lot of stupid stuff. <laughs> so yeah. Leave it in. So Remember we were talking about Cassandra and Icarus and how his crush was not that, like, she just shrugged it off? Okay, let me tell you guys about an episode. It's called Hercules and the Big Kiss. And Cassandra has a vision of herself kissing Icarus. She is so scared about this, she begs Hercules for help. And then when Hercules, of course, fails and actually gets Icarus more excited about possibly (laughs) kissing her. Great. (laughs) I know, Hercules is really bad at this. She sells her... After school and weekend soul to Hades. What? What? Is that just a, is that a not... thing? Do I yeah, have an after, Do I have an afternoon and weekend soul? How many souls do I, I have? No, it's <laughs> like when you're in school, you got your soul, but afterwards, huh. pretty much when you sell your soul to Hades, means you're in servitude <laughs> to him, like what Meg was. Yeah, no, I know, and like you know, Persephone, she she 
spends like a certain amount of time down there. I, I understand, but still, the way the way it comes up and makes it sound like multiple souls. You know, <laughs> Cassandra is the type of like level of petty that I aspire to be. Okay, so one of the things that was kind of gross is Hades is like, oh, she's hot. He's looking oh, at tears. Wait, what? Yeah, and I'm yeah. He's like, Bubba Room. And I'm like, oh. she is a minor, Hades. Shut <laughs> your mouth. I know this is Agent Grace and you are James Wood. <laughs> <laughs> that did not age Ooh, well. That's not. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like it's, it's, it's ancient. It's ancient Greece, but it's also a, uh, you know, kid show. So we can't. Do it's that. also like, <laughs> she's supposed to be in high school. Yeah, I was like, that's, oh, no. that's not. No, nope, no, nope, don't like nope, that. Do not like. Do not like that at all. I'm not going to. Do not so, yeah. go so past go. Do it, not collect $300. Pretty much she's willing to sell her soul to not kiss this guy. Again, it, that's a level petty that's fine. Okay, but then Hades like puts her in, puts Icarus in a deep sleep and guess what the only way to wake him is. Oh, Jesus, uh, for her to kiss him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Hercules tries to get her soul back by... Taking some of Cupid's arrows and making her fall in love with Icarus, so pretty what? much just like drugging her. It's I'm pretty crazy. sure. I'm pretty sure the easy the easier way would just be to talk to Aphrodite, but that's you know. Oh, he does. He does. Oh, he does. Or she doesn't do anything. No, she just gives him some arrows. Oh, that's lame. She usually she usually gets real pissed when people are like not responding to to like love and everything. Oh yeah, she's she's like, oh, you gotta lead this to the professionals kind of thing. But she is a professional. <laughs> yeah, she is. Yes, and she's played by Lisa Kudrow, who is amazing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that stuck out on me. Wait, so basically she sells her soul. Hades knows he sells her soul because she doesn't want to kiss the guy and then he forces her to kiss the guy. He doesn't force her. She has a choice and she thinks about it. She's like, Do I want to kiss Icarus and let him live or just let him be in an eternal slumber? She sings a song about it, too. It's amazing. (laughs) That's wonderful. (sighs) It's terrible, but but it's just it's such a like a time capsule of what was and was not okay for like for like like sitcoms to cover i mean think about think about all the other sitcoms that were running at the time uh, and like like geared for younger not like not like older sitcoms like Fra- Frasier or Friends and, and stuff like that. But like if you think about uh, other shows that were on for a younger audience, like a, a Boy Meets World or something, they cover stuff like that all the time. Well, like they have like icky, gross um, like plot lines that run through about consent and about um, like how a guy needs to talk to a girl to get, you know, it's so 90s. And it's weird and obvious, like, thank God we've moved past it. But it it it's kind of interesting to see that Disney went ahead and said, instead of, like, a fun, like, monster of the week adventure, like, let's watch Hercules beat up a bunch of, of monsters every week, they went, no, it'll be cool if we embrace, like, the tropes of now and set our, you know, one of our beloved heroes into it. Uh, it's kind of, I don't know, it's different. No, I, bo- I I agree. I think I like obviously this was just kind of what like at the time it wasn't as like crazy of a of a notion, um, or at least you, it was easier to laugh it off than it would be now. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Now it's like oh that did not age well at all. <laughs> and like I think you know obviously like all of us would uh, you know we can see that but we can still move past it because obviously we we just know how the world is and everything. Um, but it does it does question. You know, if if children now are watching it, what are they thinking? Oh, yeah. I mean, freaking Hercules in one episode, which you guys see in the Hercules in the yearbook, is he literally builds a woman from clay. And he gets Aphrodite to bring her to life. And the one thing he wants in her is that she's crazy about him. Yeah. And that's it's really it. Weird. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Aphrodite calls him out on that and is like, oh, thinking big, aren't you? Or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was sort of like, "I right, fool." <laughs> she She's didn't like, go well this will for not go him, well. but and that ending was weird too because then Mag is like, "Oh, you went to some like prom with someone else." It's like he didn't know you. Chill, shoddy. <laughs> <laughs> 
It was odd. And then Hercules is like, well, who did you go to prom with? And she's like, let's not talk about it. And I was like, what? Two-way street. Yeah, I mean, back <laughs> then, as a kid, you thought like, oh, looking back at your school stuff was going to be so embarrassing. But now as I'm an adult, I'm like, this is high school. Everyone was lame then. I think the most concerning part is that he like had Aphrodite build him someone. Like, come on. Really? That's so, that's yeah. so gross. Oh, we talked about this a little bit, I believe, in Return of Jafar. But there is a crossover episode in this series. Oh, that's right. Did you guys watch it or no? Am I, am I, am I the only one who did that? Because I'm crazy. Yeah. I feel like I remember there being a crossover episode. There were so many, there were so many, um, so many of these shows on at the time, like running through the 90s and early 2000s, right? Like, like Disney turned everything into a TV show. So what did they yeah, cross over with with Hercules? I don't remember. It's Hercules and Aladdin. Yes. yes. It's Hercules in the Arabian night. And Jafar is in the underworld. And Hades, well, Jafar's causing a trouble. Pain and panic are like, oh, my God. And Jafar's like, there's been a mistake. <laughs> So Jafar and Hades, they like challenge each other to defeat each other's heroes. And of course they can't. And Hades like, what? He's just immortal and he's still, well, he sends pain and panic. And of course that doesn't go well. <laughs> so they have this idea. They're like, well, what if the heroes fought each other? So this is like Batman versus Superman, but better. <laughs> and Hercules, and Hercules thinks that Aladdin kidnapped Icarus. And then Aladdin thinks Hercules kidnapped Abu. See, better reasons than Batman versus Superman. And then the building's about to fall on them. And Hercules is like, well, just save my friend Icarus. And he's like, what? You saved my friend Abu. And they're like, oh, we got our messages crossed. Oh, my God. It's Batman versus Superman, guys. We need to, we need to stop this episode or this recording right now so I can go and watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's amazing. It's amazing. I, think, it, it, I think I remember when it was like, when when it was on. I remember them making like a big deal about the crossover episode, but I don't remember. I don't remember watching it at all. Like none of that rang any bells. That's so funny. Oh. Okay. So Phil hits on Jasmine and Jasmine's like, I'm married. And I'm like, dude, you have to say you're married to get a guy to stop hitting on you. A goat man. <sighs> well, I, f- I forgot he was such a horny goat man. It, it's, it's a satyr, right? It's a satyr. That's like the the whole like I know thing. <laughs> well, he's, well, he's, well. Plus, I mean, like, there's no- nothing necessarily wrong with like just like flirting, I guess. But I don't know. I don't know that like, I haven't seen the episode, so I'm not exactly sure. She probably went like, to what "I'm married." Extent, but <laughs> <laughs> I. It, it's still boggling that they they brought Hades. It it, it just doesn't make sense with the movie. Okay, so let's talk about this part, because the whole purpose of the movie is Hercules is trying to become a hero to join his parents back on Mount Olympus, because that's the only way he can become a Because it's part of training session with Phil that we don't well, see yeah. in the movie. It's like, okay. We see a montage. Is no, I know we cool see a montage. montage. I'm just saying the part we don't see is him going to high school. Yeah. yeah. So... The whole thing is like, okay, he has to do some act of bravery and he's like saving Athens. He's saying saving Thebes. He's doing a bunch of things. He's an action figure. <laughs> he just like, he's like, I don't know what I'm doing. And it's not till he saves Meg from the underworld that he becomes a hero. A true th- hero. The thing like, is like the in gods. this series, he's willing to sacrifice himself a lot in this series to save his friends and loved ones. So I'm like, Me, but maybe that act wasn't selfless enough because that was the was whole save, point. Was saving Meg selfless? Because he loved her. I don't know. Apparently, he oh, just there's an episode with Meg in it other than the yearbook one where they meet as teenagers. Whoa. Why doesn't what? she remember him then? <laughs> so, is he like cannon bending? <laughs> um, so so and then I think how does they're... Hades not remember him? So there you, they get at the end, they're about to kiss, and then the water of Leith or something, which is the forgetfulness water, pours on them, and they forget each other. Oh, Does that right. happen well, with Hades have- too, though? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, that must <laughs> be what happens. That's devastating. 
that is the I just don't like when that thing's happening because it's like ooh, <laughs> this well, whole I mean, series Hercules. non-existent technically. I mean, Hercules doesn't meet Hades until he reveals that Meg is his spy. Right. He tries to make that deal with Hercules. He's like, okay, why don't you just take the night off? Right. And Meg will be fine. But the whole time, the pain and panic spoil, or no, yeah. Like, but no, be, yeah, well, Hades sees him because, you know, he's like, ooh. Boom, chakalaka. Like, let's see what's happening. Ooh, fight. Um, so he knows about him at that point, but not before, not when he was training with Phil. No. It was when he was the big guy. Yeah. Oy. Oy vey. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Sorry, Brie. I, we just, like, broke them. <laughs> Listen, I, it, it, it's mainly just because it's, like, I don't like how you can take creative liberties. Sure. Right? But. Yes. It, when you when you derail a whole plot line for for like a separate series, why? I feel like we had this discussion about something else. What was it, Bray? Everything. Okay. <laughs> Everything that uh, Disney has done so far. Um, when did they do this? They did this a lot, though. Yeah, this is 1998. It ran for one year, but it did 65 episodes. Yeah, I noticed. Jesus. I was like, one season for 65 episodes. That's crazy. One Disney season, has a I'm rule sorry. about, like, they need 65 episodes, and then they cut it off, because that's enough for syndication, they feel. It's also enough. I mean, I guess like, that's, that's enough. <laughs> like, 65 was probably enough episodes. And they're episode. like, and done. I mean, they really could only go so far with this story anyway. Because it was high school. Yeah, they're just trying to cover high school, like, and, and the events that take place during... It It all takes place, this whole show takes place during the song One Last Hope in the movie. Yep. It's all It all takes place during that training montage. Yeah, that's it. Um, So it, it is, yeah, with the limited time frame, they made, you know, 65 whole episodes in, like, and aired them all in a year. I mean, Disney was wild back then. They're just churning out content. They couldn't even stop. Well, churning out content that doesn't make sense. It doesn't. It doesn't. It it doesn't make sense to have Hades in there at all. The okay. rest of it is all but is all fun. They could have. They could have done a different god. Yeah, that could have been after him. You know, maybe like an evil principal. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that reminds me of Emperor's New Groove when Isma is the principal. What? Um, in first new school oh, which no. is the tv show i haven't seen it <laughs> yeah Cusco has to go back to high school too oh jesus bunch of high schools it's yeah it's one of those shows i watched while i was babysitting i like that hades is in the show you like it and i'm more yeah i love it but it doesn't He's make sense a- with the movie it doesn't make sense and it bothered me a lot as a child but it was just such a fun series that i was willing to forgive it I think How that's true of all the of like any of the 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 things that kind of like didn't make sense with the movie. I I I just think that it's it's a fun you know it's a fun series and we can forgive them for that. <laughs> I don't know if I can forgive them, but it is fun. <laughs> Alice, did it bother you as a kid? I don't remember uh, noticing or caring. <laughs> I think as a kid, it really just didn't um, matter because it was you know I was just happy to see everybody on on tv again you know and i watched the movie so often i probably broke vhs you know and so it was cool to just enjoy more stories with the characters i liked i don't remember it being a thing alice are you sure your mom didn't just put it in the closet (gasps) she might have you know that's a thing she did yeah oh i just recorded that episode yeah i mean i just edited that episode yeah she hid a lot of your stuff she hid a lot of her stuff maybe she didn't no she liked hercules she liked the classic and like and like disney renaissance movies because she liked the songs and she liked to say we would sing together so those ones she wouldn't hide but she i mean she she hid um one like a lot of anime stuff that was uh, too much yelling for her or um or like the Bionicles movie that was that my little brother was really into. Um, uh, doesn't hold up, by the way. <laughs> um, 
And, but no, this, my, my mom, like the reason why I was only allowed to watch the Disney channel, like growing up as a kid, I was very sheltered. Um, but that she really liked the, the, the movies and the stories that, that Disney would tell. So in the, you know, for watching a sitcom starring the characters from Hercules and they're going to learn fun life lessons about, you know, standing up to bullies and, um, I don't know, being, you know, living up to parents' expectations or peer pressure or whatever, you know, the kind of stuff that, that shows like this, you know, a lesson of the week um, kind of kind of tale. She was all about it. And this stuff got me, you know, raised me, basically. Got me all the yeah. way, you know, this. And, and we watched, I mean, yeah, we watched the hell out of this. But we were, I mean, we mostly did, did movies. But um, it was a lot of Sesame Street until I was way too old for Sesame Street, you know. Stuff like, That's what happens when you have a younger sibling. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, yeah, because right as I was aging out of it, my brother was aging into it. So then we just kept watching Sesame Street. <laughs> yeah, this was just a show that my sister and I liked watching. And I and we loved Hercules. We loved that music. The music is so good. I'm so glad good. they brought the muses back. I was so excited when they started singing. Oh, yeah. They were <laughs> top tier. I mean, even Susan, like we said before, like Susan Egan gets a song at the end where she's singing about how he was a nerd in high school, but that made him who he is today. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, and then, I mean, and it's actually, they're actually fairly decent songs, I feel. I mean, you know, nothing, nothing, uh, nothing like the um, the Cinderella ones that we, that we heard. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, those are just classics. Oh, those, but, those uh, <laughs> awful. Yeah, and this is just for a TV show, not a movie. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. No, I, 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 there's some great points about it. I think I never watched this as a kid. So I think my whole bias is the movie, you know? Yeah, I think, again, like, I think, yeah, I think because I watched this as a kid, I was like, again, the nostalgia. So just a few little quotes Haiti says in the series. He says, welcome to the afterlife, the unhappiest place under Earth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then pain and... Pain and Panic are introducing Medusa to working for Hades. And he says, we're not employees. We're cast members. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is, that, that's, that's cute. I love that. <laughs> yeah. I like that they kind of like make fun of themselves, at least, you know, a little bit. And, oh, and then there's an episode about Rome. And it's like, you know how the Romans give the Greek gods different names? Mm -hmm. Hades finds out his Roman name. They called me Pluto? What kind of name is Pluto? I wouldn't call my dog Pluto. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Disney. Oh, that's goofy. Oh, yeah, so but, um, I quit. I quit. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's some good Disney Disney um self-deprecating jokes in there. Which as a kid, you're like, I get those. So would you suggest this for someone who's a fan of the Hercules movie? Yes, I would I would suggest it. I would say, like, obviously there are um it, you know in incongruencies and everything but but i would say i would just warn them about that and just say have fun with it anyway because the characters are really cool it's uh and it's it's just a fun show i think i would have been friends with cassandra you, <laughs> yeah <laughs> i totally see it yeah and alice i think this holds up i mean like it's not as good as i remembered because i was a child but it's still solid. And again, like, it's charming. Yeah. Um, I would be uh, less likely to rewatch this as I would say Gargoyles, which we, we true, talked true. about. Um, but it's uh, it's not off the list entirely. I'd be willing to, to, to give it another shot or finish what I started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been putting them on just like late at night or like when I'm doing something. That I don't like have to focus my complete attention like I'm cooking or cleaning. So it's that kind of show for yeah. at least the older crowd. But I think kids would still like it. Um, yeah. I mean, I think there besides maybe Icarus being creepy. <laughs> yeah. Um <laughs> I think Cassandra says a lion to Hercules I liked. It's um we haven't seen your petty side before. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another Oh, gosh. What did she say? She's so good. Oh. Another line she says is, life got fair. Why wasn't I told? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was so good. 
I loved that. That got a that got a good laugh out of me. Mm-hmm. Me too. There's like little things like the newspaper's called the Greekly newspaper. Um, there's Pandora's locker, yes. which you do not open. Do not, don't don't, don't <laughs> open that, please. <laughs> so there's like little things like I did not notice like as a child. That makes now more I'm, like chuckling. Yeah. I, it's fun. It it really is fun. Um I have to say, uh, Vanessa. Candace and I did uh, an old episode uh, when we were uh, Geeky Girl Gab about the worst like school ever being Hogwarts. And I have to say, uh, this might top being worst school because it's always getting destroyed. Hold on. It's always getting destroyed. But my, my thing is the fact that the teachers are super unfair. They're all like the, the whole Adonis thing with oh, with, yeah. uh, with with him coming in with like the the working volcano. Oh, I and know. And then just like completely destroying all the other projects. And then she's like, "Oh well, I'll give you an incomplete because uh, you should really strive to be the way that Adonis is, even though it destroyed his project." Yeah, that was so messed up. <laughs> it really um, was. Yeah, that I I think I agree. This is this would be a worse school to go to than than See? Hogwarts. Yeah, it's like a whole I think school maybe full of Harry wasn't. No, if Hercules, if Hercules wasn't there, there'd still be Adonis to deal with. No, I I think it, it's a it's a whole school full of people who are like, uh, like <laughs> they're in there like almost near God Adonis and his like near godly you know good looks and and seers and and stuff. It it would be like going to Hogwarts, except um, instead of Harry Potter coming in to save the day all the time, it's everybody as a Harry Potter causing all of the problems and trying to save the day all yeah. at the same time. Everybody is here. It's a Hogwarts full of Harry Potter. It's, it's Hogwarts it's, on crack. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And, and also, you know that Hades, the god of the underworld, is after somebody at that school and is willing to destroy the school. And that's just oh, like yeah. life for them. It's fine. <laughs> it, it happens. Mm. You know, it, it's just, it's crazy. So yeah, I, and also, what's up with like Adonis getting fed grapes by other students? That's <laughs> so, so weird. I was like, really, this jackass? <laughs> That's the point of him. I know it's a point. I just don't have to like him. <laughs> oh, there's an episode where he and Hercules team up because Adonis gets cursed because he's making his employees dig a pool and he upsets Gaia. I don't remember what happens because I started watching it last night, but I fell asleep. <laughs> but that's not a part of the original uh, direct to home video for anyone no, who's no, no, no. wondering. It is off topic. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> this is Candace doing a little extra homework. <laughs> the the Hermione of the group, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no, this is the person of the group who still really likes children's cartoons without children, which is fine. I watch cartoons. So, Alice, can you tell people about your podcast about theme parks? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, I host a podcast called Those Happy Places, which is a podcast about theme parks, rides, and attractions, and why they deserve to be thought about as literature. That's true. Why is there no Hercules ride? That's such a good question. And in fact, you should write uh, in about it, and we'll talk about it. Yes. Um, I mean, can you imagine just the muses just like singing throughout the whole ride it'd be magical it would be incredible yeah, you can ride like a pegasus oh that'd be oh, cool. cool awesome yeah yeah yeah, so. yeah. and disney. if and if disney had all the money in the world which they do but they're not using it the way we think they should be using it <laughs> they would put in a hercules ride for sure there's so much missing um anyways uh it's those happy places and we talk about the parks um and yeah, it's at thosehappyplaces.com or wherever podcasts are, are found. Okay, and Brie, can you tell people how to find us? Yeah, of course. Um, head to our website, thegeekywaffle.com. We have uh, amazing blogs on it, and you'll find all of our podcast episodes, including, you know, not just straight out of home video, but also the Geeky Waffle podcast. Um, and then also check out our Twitter. Candace is queen over there, and it's... Um, I'm going to have to get used to saying this one again. It's, uh, oh, crap. Geeky underscore waffle. Thank you. Also, please rate yeah. and review us on iTunes, Stitcher. It helps out more than you could possibly Also, tell know. us what you want to see. Is there a movie that you're excited to to hear us talk about? You know, we, we are all all to hear your opinions. Alice is coming back for Hunchback, too. Oh, you better believe it. <laughs> oh, I'm not excited to watch that. <laughs> I'm terrified. I've never seen it before. 
It, I'm wondering if it's worse than my memory. I don't know. My memory is pretty bad of oh, it. No. So See, I feel the, like it can't get much worse. You two saying that is just, it's making me t- like absolutely terrified. I think okay. the one thing that we can say to end this about Hercules is that it's better than both uh, Return of Jafar and the Mighty Ducks, the first face off. It's true. Well, I mean, everything's better than those two, I would hope. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, we haven't done Hutchback. We haven't done Hutchback or Pocahontas 2. No, we so haven't. We shall see. The but ranking is, is still in flux. Right now, I, I would just say, I don't know where else. We'll have to discuss where else it lands. But for me, it's above at least those two. I think this is actually pretty high for me. This is pretty, so. this is, I, 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 again, this is something that I will actually continue to watch after we we do this. So I call that a major win. I, I was actually Heck wanting yeah, to Vanessa. watch it more. I, I will say that. I did enjoy it. The Batman episode really hooked me in. <laughs> Guys, we peer pressure Brie into watching more. Yay! <laughs> this Yay! Is, it always happens. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me. <laughs> it means you need to learn from Hercules because I'm sure there's a lot of peer pressure in yeah, these shows. That's and true. Yeah, so there we go. I just them. need to learn and say, no, I, I did really like it. I think I was just such a bias for, like, I'm a stickler, I guess, for the original source material. And, um, <laughs> but if I don't add in that original source material as a separate show as a whole, it's really good. Just pretend it's in an alternate universe. All right. It's AU. Yeah. It's a fanfic. I'm yeah. down. Yay. Boom. I'm there for it. There we go. Fun. <laughs> we solved it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you all for talking about this show that meant so much to me as a child and I think still means something to me as an adult. And... Thank you all for listening. We hope you have a happily ever after until the sequel or I guess prequel. 